Butler in a sense, uh, if you get it off pick. his ult, like a big part of what he is designed to do is already done. And one thing I've noticed about Team Empire is when they know they're going to try to take a fight, they weave themselves first and they wait like 5 to 10 seconds to really take advantage of the full armor and then they go in the fight. So yeah. What Fnatic's doing here is they're actually going to get the aura on a Doom and have the Venge aura and the Luna aura yeah, yeah, yeah. and a wolf creep and a wolf and they're just going to plow down towers. They're going to hit unbelievably hard, it's basically. Ten My seconds, one concern though is if they don't really have a lot of lockdown, they're going to rely actually on Empire coming to five them, seconds, right? Yeah. So they set up their stationary like defense or offense depending on if they're pushing not which i assume empire Reserve are going to put time. emphasis on Ten that because seconds. they do have a shadow Remaining. shaman we'll assume it's a support for now so probably leaning towards Five what seconds. i think lumi originally Remaining. said or maybe it was you shane where they just go with the offlane Fanatics centaur and just be like yeah you're going to soak exp and then just dazzle shadow shaman together now on the bright side that means that fanatic can pick a little bit of a greedy mid if they want to because the potential for roaming sure it's there but it's going to be hard for heroes like Shadow Shaman and Dazzle to roam effectively because if you get level Ten 1 Shackle, you have to be remaining. pretty damn close. It's almost like level 1 Burrow Strike on a Sand King, Five where it's just remaining. very, very difficult to make that gank actually happen. So maybe Fnatic can play it greedy enough to actually pull it up. But do Team Empire need to roam? Because I'm looking if Tem Fnatic's Team, Team Empire to wants pick. to run a 2 one two. Like you were talking about the weakness of a Luna lane, and now it's we know it's Luna Venge. Like there's no range in that. Yeah. If Team Empire wants to run like a Dazzle Centaur in that, I think the Dazzle Centaur wins that lane. Yeah, uh, they probably would actually. Yeah, so I don't think you need to roam there. And Doom is like, what kind of laner is he? He's a very weak laner at that. If you put him mid, I think Puck's going to beat him up if you don't roam. Uh, if you roam against Ten the Doom, he's remaining. just dead. I just think Team, Team Empire, like one of the fear I have for Fnatic, Five they just draft very f weak lanes. And I think they're going to just fall over in the laning stage. Uh, Reserve also big slide out here. I think it's pretty good remaining. against like, heroes like Doom yeah. and like Luna and stuff. Where Gives them more initiation too. Yeah. yeah, I like the slider idea. It's very solid. For Fnatic, I would just go like SF or something. Wow, Clockwork? Is that a mid-Doom? Hmm. I guess it is. I was going to say, like, they have a lineup right now that did kind of lack initiation, but the way the Empire functions is they're going to be going for jumps a lot, like Stampede, Mass Serpent Wards for pushing, and Dream Boil. You know the Empire have the ability to play aggressive, so one way to deal with that is just go a bunch of heroes that rush BKBs. Like, Luna gets a fast BKB, SF gets a fast BKB, Doom can... I mean, maybe you don't want to do it on him, maybe you just go mech, which is still good enough, and then you just rely on, hey, we right-click really remain. hard, come at us, you know yep. what I mean? Like, yep. I think that would have been equally viable, but Five no, Clockwork's gonna be the pick, remaining. so... I'm guessing it's a mid-Doom, and then safe lane Luna with Venge. The last pick, a Spectre, and I actually like that. To be anywhere on the map at any point in time, and you can bait out the doom, then it's going to be really solid, I think, to be able to just go in, find the picks that you're looking for. Actually, after you get like a good dream coil, you can follow it up with that haunt, and then get some. Um, gets pretty hairy if you're fanatic, but everyone's taking heroes now. We're inside of the game, first game of the Prepare day. Again, apologize for the delay, guys, but Steam was having some issues, and from the looks of things right now, it is going to be a safe lane doom, and apparently Hani going mid on Luna, and he's going to be against the puck, which. I'm skeptical, man. I am skeptical. I, I think you need Venge here as well. I, I just don't think... Yeah, but what is Venge going to do? Like, if the Venge starts trading with the Puck, the yeah. Puck is still going to win. I mean, well... You can I, never stun the Puck as well. He'll always dodge it with the... Majigger. This is the problem for me for Fnatic. Their lanes. Uh, we'll see how they make of it. It's going to be a clash into the jungle. Uh -oh. And Mag is just going in. He's got the boots first. He eats a tango and then runs back. All right. Is he going to go in? You don't want to run into the cogs. You can see Trixie just sent in front. Like, there's a cog oh, being no. baited out. And then oh. focusing on Trixie. Or No Tail. No Tail just loses a bunch of his HP. That was really close. Pretty reckless there, actually, by Trixie to just casually throw out a cog when your teammate's on the wrong side of it. But quick thinking by No Tail. And he gets himself back to safety. So. I would have went full greed if I was Fnatic. Like, safe lane, the Luna, put the Doom in the jungle. The chance for roam on that hero is extreme low, given the way the Empire's lanes were. I actually think the Empire's greed's gonna work out for them here. Okay. Especially because Spectre's one of them heroes that doesn't really need to worry about rotating. Like, as a carry yeah, hero, you can just begins. press or and be there. Yeah, no. They're gonna group up as five and try and push towers and... Yeah, I like Empire's draft better. Like, just flat out. You think the greed for Fnatic is... Oh. Well, okay. I think they should have actually played it greedier. Okay. Like, they should have just gone Doom Jungle, right, which is super greedy. Safe Lane Luna, which is equally as greedy. And then, like, mid and SF or something. Like, heroes who need a lot of farm, sure, but Empire have to run into you, and you can rush BKB on three of the five heroes on your team and still do it.
significant amount of damage because of the way that your lineup functions. So you're basically waiting for them to make a mistake instead of you putting a bit of emphasis on yourself to make the early game work for you. Because a late game Spectre is going to eat this team alive. Can they even punish the center top with a Doom Vengeance no. lane? Like that's, why there. I, that's why I disagree with like them not playing a greedy enough. Like they should have just went like full, I want to make money mode, I think. I don't know. Hard to say. We'll yeah, I mean, they're trading a farm on a Doom, and the most common build is a quick mech, which can actually matter quite a bit. I mean, if you look at Team Empire, they don't have something similar. So, Fnatic could hit a pretty good timing where they start knocking down some tier 1 tower on the back of that mech. Uh, but we'll see. Centaur, you know, we know what he's going to get. He's going to get a quick blink and start wrecking havoc. I think the Doom could go Vlad in this case, if they're going for this all-in strategy. Yeah, he will. He already has a Bassi, yeah. so um, I'm assuming that's going to be his choice. Maybe not first, but um, I think BKB is also going to be kind of a necessity for him and the Luna as well. Like, sure, you think Luna is always going to get a BKB, but I think, like, first item BKB. Because no if, you, if you get stampeded on and you don't have a BKB against that lineup, Empire is going to just flatten you instantly. Like, you're not going to have a chance to react. I think the other day we were talking about uh, um, stampede damage. Mm -hmm. we, we were saying that uh, with the Knicks, wasn't it? It was. No, no, no. We're saying that if you stampede, let's say you're a team with, uh, in this case, a puck, mm -hmm. and the stampede is applied, and the puck runs into the Luna right now. It's we're saying uh, strength, isn't it? No, it's not. It's based on Centaur strength. Okay. Because if you hover over stampede, it says uh, releases allies to a vicious charge and each damage trample based on Warrunner's strength. So yeah. it's like reading or two tip. But it's not just about the damage that it does, it's about the, the positional advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it gives you such a huge edge in fight. Like I think that's why they picked Clockwork, just to make sure that the Stampede wasn't like an end-all be-all positional advantage for Empire and single engagement. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's gonna matter oh, that much. Run Mag. Yeah, Mag's fine. He's got booties, man. He's good. His brothers nearly stomped him there. <laughs> yeah. The double centaur here top and Fly Radiant's actually decides to go one point into wave attack. before getting Vengeance Aura. Which, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter that much. I probably still would have gone oh. Aura first. Mag could be forced to uh, try to use a stun here. Net onto him. Double stun hits the Centaur and Aura both. Vanscore also TPs here. Looks like Fnatic's not going to be able to get the first blood just yet. But they do have their eyes on this tower. I don't think they can get it this early, though. Yeah, they have a Glyph still available here on Team Empire. So I don't think they're too worried. Uh, unfortunately, Mag is completely out of region. He has one Tangle left. So he's going to be done for a while. But the coding here for uh, Fnatic, if the push doesn't work, I mean, Notel's going to back off in the jungle. They could even oh, do a little yeah. double roam action if they want. Uh, but they are roaming against a puck, which is going to be somewhat difficult. <laughs> yeah. This is a, another case of one of those very static games where the movement is going to be minimal until the heroes on both sides of the map start hitting like six, right? Yeah. Like puck needs six, especially. And then uh, you have Spectre hitting six, and that's when you're going to start seeing the global presence come out, and Stampede comes up on Mag. That's when Empire are going to start actually trying to make stuff happen. Or yeah. when one of them get a Blink Dagger as well, it's going to make a big impact. For sure. I think they actually could have killed Trixie right there if they went for a Shackle. There's a one point of Desolate right now, and Trixie was quite low, but it looks like um, Always Want to Fly did not feel the same way. What happens if you Paracogs and Spectre tries to run in with the Dagger? Oh. You still get bounced off. Mag, top lane, quite low right now. Oh, Trying to make it back to the tower. One more auto attack from Flying, he manages to get the kill. Looks like Van score was uh, a little bit tardy to the party. Make heal on the creep wave, does some damage to Fly. Yeah, so I want to point out that Fly going for two point to his uh, wave of terror instead of the standard maxing the stun. This is kind of uh, what you want to do if you're going for an aura based strat. You just leave your stun at one and take up all your auras. Ooh. Oh, nice <laughs> cog by Trixie. He's got a TP though. Like, I always want to fly. He's going to be forced to use it. I think that's a little bit of a bar for him, but hey. I mean, he could be, you know, could be worse. A jungle farm. Could be worse. He's actually oh, he's, like farming. He's gonna center. abuse it, man. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna get a free centaur kill. Jokes on uh -oh. you, bud. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Please. Boom, well, he now goes. he can't TP, and now he might just be dead. But oh, no silence over no, here. He ate the tango, and now he he's in there. It. Oh, now he wants oh, to TP no. away. Beam. Ooh. That was so close. That was so close. You know, Holy if Honey shit. had just stayed in the low ground, I think the centaur would have queued a stomp and stopped the TP. Or uh, let Clockwork give him vision. Yeah. Well. That was like. <laughs> That was really weird. Yeah, that was. That's some clowny Dota. Interestingly enough, though, like Silent, even missing that farm to try to cut his friend out of the trees, he's still leading the CS right now, 31 and 9. Next highest is Resolution on his team. And I gotta hand it to Hani. I actually thought this lane would be not so favorable for Luna just because of the simple harass damage he would take, but he's doing a nice job. He even rotated bottom as well. Yeah. Not too bad. I mean, I'm, I'm still not a. 
big fan of this lane because I I feel like at resolution at this point he's just free farming, and I think he would even skip his uh, treads in this case. He's gonna go just straight blink. And once the blink is up, I'm not sure what Fnatic is gonna have uh, to deal with that. Oh, top lane, fly once again, range for stun, so close, not quite. Here comes that push again. Two centaur. Radiant's top this time tower they have a venge war. This venge is level five already. Where is she finding all this level? The first blow. The first blood helped, but she's level five. That's true, man. Radiant's yeah. top tower has fallen. Level. So I, it is, like I was saying, it is a greedy lane. But I think Fnatic, like having this Dyer's kind of lineup where they can just go for towers attack. and already having a wolf creep, by the way. Yeah, how do you find which it? Which is huge. <laughs> yeah. This push becomes a heck of a lot scarier. They're gonna go for tier two. I mean, that's gonna force the puck to rotate. That's one dangerous thing to have to keep in mind. But you can see that Fly's just running in, threatening for the stun. The, the centaur standing in the front line. It'll time out. But yeah, when everybody's standing around each other, they're getting like almost three plus 20, 35 to 40 damage. Yeah, like 50% extra damage. It's this crazy. is insane. It's a new meta, man. Pick Doom, get a wolf in the first five minutes of the game. Yeah. Win. Not if you're me. I mean, if you're me, you don't get a wolf until like 45 minutes in because they just don't spawn. Or one of your teammates is fucking radiance and like burns it to death, and you're like, no, yeah. please, no. I've actually had that happen before. I don't want to talk about it. It was bad. <laughs> I was playing Chen the other day, and some some fella kept on rubbing all my trolls. I was so mad. They're my favorite baby to get. I was Chen. Like I just love the trolls. They're awesome. Yeah, trolls are good. But just speaking on that experience advantage right now that uh, Fnatic have, especially in terms of supports, like always, flies level three still. Yeah. I and mean, Vance always want to fly. Four, but got pushed up to a, you know a ramp, and uh, Vanscore has been helping out by rotating up top. They're not getting much. Spectre getting all this experience on his own, like solo experience. Yeah, but the experience for the Spectre, I don't really think is as valued as just having the free farm itself. And from the looks of things, Silent's actually going to be going Vanguard first. So there's going to be not a huge opportunity, but there's going to be some window where Silent's teamfight presence is still going to feel a little bit meh. Sure, he's going Max Dagger, Max Desolate, which is a reasonable amount of damage. But I don't, like, I'm not really feeling the go safe build in this scenario when you know that the rotations coming out for Fnatic are pretty much going to be non-existent. Maybe he just thinks he needs the Vanguard to fight. Yeah, maybe yeah I think so. But they're going to get a good gank up top here against Mag. Mag's going to eat a magic soul. We're going to see an enchant, a swap so on to top. Whoa! Where's the enchant? It's going to be great and TP's coming in. Stamp, he's going to get used and they're out of there. But it's a puck teleporting and no, it's going to be all want to fly. And that'll be the end of the engage. He just, he just got the, Yeah, it was yeah. so close. He was 27 experience over level do, 6. Do you think he happened. actually needed the Stampede? I mean, if he really oh, were worried, worried about them, they could even send the uh, Haunt in with Silent. But Yeah, they, they probably didn't need it yeah. in all actuality. Oh, Resolution's going to spot the Courier. He, he has wants double it. damage, I think. He wants it. Oh, why did it stop? Oh, they baited it. They're going to Doom yeah. him. Are they actually going to be able to kill him? Though? There's no Scorch Drift right now on Doom for another 10 seconds. And always want to fuck her. Excuse me, fuck, can't get in range. Attack. Oh, they have an enchant on him. He yeah. should be dead. He's shooting know. the magic missile, but there's a beam. Night range. I don't think that's worth it, man. Losing your courier is not worth killing one hero. I agree. Especially Dyer's when you had to use Doom and four heroes to get it. Yeah, and especially when the, he was dragging you away from being able to counter push any lanes while he was dying. So, yeah. Not great. Yeah, I, I think the, the whole Vanguard idea on Silent is not really afraid of the gangs incoming. I think, like, seeing how scary the aura is coming out from Fnatic, you just want some HP. Um, like, them Doom right clicks hurt so much. I mean, everybody's right clicks gonna hurt yeah. a lot. This is actually very reminiscent of the draft that C9 had against Alliance in their head to head. When I think uh, Envy was playing Doom, they had uh, Bone 7 playing Beastmaster, and they, I think they had a, a couple of other aura heroes, like Chen was picked for Aoi. So this is a very similar strategy. And we see oh, Resolution. Trixie. And Trixie's like, he's so dead. Uh-oh. There's two behind him, though. On the side of Fnatic, can they actually react fast enough? They're going to swap him out of the orbit. This damage to Doom and Quill coming out for Resolution. Trixie's still alive. He panic cogs and traps a few of his teammates in there. Here comes the Eclipse from Hani. It's going to be a double kill for Silent. He gets Grave. He might be able to TP out. Actually gets canceled by a Lucent Beam. And it's a two-for-one trade right now. Can no kill get another one? He's level seven right now. Yeah, he's definitely going to get that. Hani actually picks up the kill. What was that cog? Trixie, please. That was actually uh, that was a huge panic call. Suspect call, but it looks like Puck's gonna attack. come around. Resolution looking for that kill. The orb is gonna clip and a really nicely played by Resolution. Spot, I thought he was gonna miss the orb. The end, she tired. <clears throat> That's my boy, man. Yep, getting points. Is a courier kill worth points? 
Oh, Jiffy, right? Oh, oh he won't fly. He's doomed. He's not having a great time. He's dead. Yeah, look I, at the wolf right That damage. Feet. That crazy damage. Jeez. You know, I will say okay. that Fnatic's got the suspect lanes, but they've made it all work. They destroyed a tier one tower. Fly somehow got more levels than he ever had in other games. Because Fly is always like level three walking around whenever I look at him, but he's he's doing stuff. We saw the swapping big in terms of saving Trixie in the bot lane and converting into more. And none of the, the Empire heroes are really far. Mag is close to that blink, and I think that's key. Here they're going for like the hand of Midas and the drums is pretty huge as well. Like, okay, Sham, I'm gonna cut you off real fast because I just saw something small and it just blew my brain. Mm -hmm. Mag is CSing with Tranquil Boots, but before he gets a CS, he drops the Tranquil. Drops them, man. So they get the CS, picks it back up so he doesn't lose the Tranquil region. Dyer's Holy shit, I'm gonna be doing that all day long. In my butt games. Well, speaking of this level, something that we're gonna do all day long. If we're Empire, we're pushing. Yep. Now that we have a final oh, six, Era, oh, Dyer's the coil. They're gonna get the power denied, though. Era, maybe hashtag worth a swap onto him as well. He's still alive. The orb going through grave onto Mag. Looks like Fly is gonna be the first one to go down, and No Tail as well. And they're gonna get Trixie on top of everything else. So it's a three for one. Resolution ends up going down. The tower gets denied. Is it worth it? I don't know, man. I don't think it's actually worth it. But it's it's as close as you can oh, possibly get. in. Diving inside Mark the tier fours. So Why the hell not? Silent just going for the big plays. He's got a TP, man. Oh, the he beam. needs to juke Hani, though. The beam's going to cancel. He doesn't, he doesn't have mana. Oh. He doesn't have mana. Click on him. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Woo! The flare missed. Holy shit. Is under attack. What a play. I like that dive. You don't make that dive without the Vanguard, though. What a play. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Good set by Silent. Silent also has a Orb of Venom, which I don't want to say it's common, but it's, it's like a nice addition, I suppose, when you're diving like that, I guess. Well, the thing about Dagger is that it's only an 18% snare. So if you stack the Orb of Venom on top of that, yeah, then it's, it's 30%. Yeah, but you're still getting the 18% move speed on top of that slow. Yeah. So you're almost moving 50% faster than the person that you've thrown a dagger at, which base movement speed is though. pretty noticeable. From 300, isn't it? The what dagger? I think like, it's just like normal. Your movement speed. Well, you can combine with phases and everything. Yeah. Okay. You're moving fast. Pretty darn fast. It looks like uh, Fanatics actually hover around Roshan. That's one of the advantage of this particular lineup. When you have the quick auras and quick damage, let's all hover up and see how much damage you're right looking for. They need the Luna here, though. Luna's right now devoiding. All right. She's joining the fray. Damage check. Yep. Plus 56 on Venge. Plus 70 on Doom. Jesus Christ. I think when the BKBs come out after the Sages, Fnatic is going to be pretty much the strongest. You know, this is with all oh, oh, they're going to snap feed in. There's a blink forward as well. No tail goes down pretty much immediately. Hani's going to be quick to follow. Empire with a massive initiation potential. Grave on always one fly. Mass server wards even drop in the pit. And Fnatic just get evaporated in the matter of seconds. Couldn't even call how fast we're dying. Unhook gets the Yep. Gets the Aegis. Gets the blink dagger. Oh, oh boy. It ain't great. Nope. <laughs> That's what I was talking about, though. Like, if you don't have a BKB against that, you really do just die instantly. You know what they needed very badly is a cog right in front Outside of everything. Of the pit. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not sure exactly where Trixie was, but he was not in front of the pit, and uh, the team just died. Yep. Shut away. The Centaur, like, ulti is so good for just getting everyone in position. Right. Was where everyone are. in the pit there? Like, every single person from Fnatic was in, I think right? Closer, maybe Dyer's one or two were, like, at the ground next to it, but... Man, they just died so fast. I just don't think if Fnatic expected that kind of initiation at that speed. What they also did was dag uh, Silent Dagger Din uh, with a stampede movement speed. So he was just going over cliffs with with the dagger. And he just ran straight in. And everybody saw the Spectre coming. They couldn't do a thing to it. And they just ran. And trying to run against this team is suicidal. I don't think you run away from Empire. Like, I don't, I don't think that's actually possible. And I mean, in terms of the supports, the shoe is now on the other foot, man. Always on flies level nine. Like after those engagements, and Band score, sure, he's level seven, which isn't spectacular, but he's certainly doing a lot better comparatively than what he used to be doing. And you can see the spike up in the graphs. It's like after that fight, especially Empire looking to be in a really, really good position. And they're going to find Fly, who wanted to stack some ancients. Maybe not so worth right now. They're even going to pop the stampede to make sure they get the kill. Uh -oh. Now they want to dive on Trixie. Trixie cock TP. I don't think they can help him, man. He's trying uh, to TP away. What? I don't think they saw him. No. It is nighttime. Dyer's okay. Bottom tower well, they'll just uh, get themselves a tier one. Pretty good trade. And it's getting worse because Blink Dagger is going to get picked up on Mag. He already has it, excuse me. Uh, we're going to see Shadow Shaman being played by Always Wanna Fly. He's Shadow close to his Blink. Yeah. Once you get Triple Blink. After this, I think. Yeah, I mean, Silent has a build. 
blink and the specter. So four blinks, I guess, fallen. on Team Empire. How do you deal with that? Scary. Scary. Top tower I just feel like attack. the BKBs needed to be up before they took that big of a risk. You know what I mean? Like and the Luna, Russian pit. Yeah, Luna and Era need BKBs to live. That's it's just simply put, they absolutely need them. And then of course he said Trixie being in a better position would have helped, so he gets a better defensive cog to keep the supports alive. Because Enchantress, unlike Chen, Enchantress isn't a hero who is useless after the first few seconds of a fight, you know? Like, you're not just done once you mech in hand a god, you actually do a lot of damage. Because Impetus is pretty much, you know, it's a decent ability, right? Mm -hmm. So, if he dies really fast, it's actually a big deal for Fnatic. Yeah. Because the hero's damage output no longer being there means that heroes to kill, like Spectre and uh, the Centaur, take significantly longer to bring down. And if you need to last that long, you need BKBs. Keep on uh, focusing Enchantress as well, and all these team fights, like... Yeah. I mean, well, Hero has 500 life. Like, yeah. 587 life it's at 16 minutes. On the Resolution will instantly kill him with just a combo. No, the Centaur. The like Centaur can too. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's getting worse because Resolution is going for a uh, Dagon. And once he has that finish, uh, this Enchantress rip. It's going to be pain. A whole heck of a lot of pain. As if they weren't already in enough. Do you think going Honda Midas was the right choice on Doombringer? Well, I think Mech might have been better. This is what I'm saying, man. These guys just love their Midas's, and this is a, a key example of a mech being much more effective. Hey, oh, if you go uh -oh. 45 minutes. Silent. Midas okay. is gonna pay off. He's grand, <laughs> as you would say. Yeah, I... I don't know, man. Like, let's let's hear right here for a second. If you had a level 11 SF, I think Luna was 11 <laughs> when took that Roshan fight. And the ASF had a BKB because he didn't buy jumps. Dyer's Would they have actually done it better? Is under attack. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. If he get off his ult, I mean, I think they're still with the fight, but they won't lose many people. Yeah, man. Jeez. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you're just like, Radiance bottom making this tower really awkward attack. for me. <laughs> I got the pillow instead of the weapon. We're going to wait on it. Dyer's yeah, top tower bad. is under attack. Well, Empire is able to take down tier 1 without any... Whoa, they even use a glyph for a second trade for tier 1. Immediate Empire rotation gonna come in. You gotta be careful. You're a fanatic. Three or four blink daggers. And top tower has yeah, fallen. You... Run. Radiant DD. structures oh, are here comes MP. <laughs> tail, tail. Look, you're talking about the HP, the double damage. He's not done. He's orbing forward. He's looking for more. These illusions. Radiant's bottom tower <laughs> and he, You see flying the jungle. He's dead. They're not done though. You see Luna galloping away. Look at second. He blinked forward. He... Oh, nope. He's in range. Uh, uh, not. Base Luna MS. Too strong. Radiant's middle tower. I think it actually could have coiled, denied. but I think maybe he was assuming the rest of his team far. Yep. Well, tier one denied. Empire is shooting onto that lead. Like, so if we're talking about this game, what is Empire that's doing really well? Like, they actually fell behind early, right? Fnatic no, was able to do a lot. I, I don't think they fell behind because here's the th right. Like, if you're trading farm between a Spectre and a Luna, usually, or well, not not even just the Luna, but like Luna and Doom. The Doom is not a hard carry in the sense that he can just. 1v5 your team, he's an anti-k, right? Yeah. So classifying him as a 1 is like the way that he plays is not conventional to what like a hero like Spectre would play as. And like Shane was mentioning, you can play as greedy as you want with Spectre because you can be anywhere and be anywhere at the same time. Okay. So anytime you want to go oh, to a fight, radiance. you don't have to actually be there. Yeah, and it's it's a 19 minute radiance vanguard for Silent. So in that sense, I think that Fnatic had to have already, you know, put enough pressure on the map to win the game by now. But I here's think that's the where they needed to be. I don't think they won that Roshan engagement because of Spectre. No, no they won the engagement because their draft is better. Yeah. Like, to me, it was every... yeah. so, Is that where they just are insane? Just draft Yeah, well? because they can survive. They're going to spot the Luna, but they're not going to get anything out of this. Yeah. He did. Jaunt was orb. That reaction was really damn fast. And he has such a high level of Jaunt as well. If it was only like level one or two, he's still dead. Yeah, he might just be dead. But here comes Nature the entire time. team, Empire. Do it with play. Right, War Trap gonna go and fly, Mine's gonna get Shaq on the back line, he's gonna be dead for sure. But there is a, come on, Silent, Silent though, he's running around, using that Radiant for no damage. The two people flying back and forth, there's a Grave, and uh, Nodem now being surrounded by all people, and he's also dead. Oh my god, he's really gonna not, he's not gonna die. Yep. Silent's still alive. Yeah, Resolution's on the chase still, he's gonna hunt back into a apply a little bit of damage, Era, he's very, very tanky, he does have 7 magic on charge, here comes Silent. And uh, Mech's gonna just ruin the party. He's gonna blink in three seconds. Oh uh, man, he, he's stopping uh, the blink right now, Scorcher. Yeah. Mech has to stop chasing, he has to stop and then blink forward. 
Oh. Oh. I got him. So do actually cancel right click. Is it off and you can't use it? That's what happened that way. Yeah. Turns off everything, man. Yeah, all your items are muted. It's like, have fun with your glowing sword, nerd. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that was crazy. The fact that they didn't have silence. Like... Wait, 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 wait. Does it turn off aura this well? I mean, you see, that's what happened, because Radiance is an aura. But let's see if you get flats and you do, do use a flats aura. That sounds... You get things like feast and right. You all oh, used to get feast in Dota One, yeah. but they they nerfed it. They made it so like like before a bad penalty wouldn't proc and you wouldn't you would um you would get feast, but you couldn't a bad penalty. They patched it. It's like now you can't feast, but bad penalty can go off. Mm -hmm. Why did they keep doing this? I don't like, know. Dude. I, I think it's absolute legion commander to be honest, because the yeah, fuck mechanic. that hero. <laughs> oh, it's it's the life steal mechanic from um Winter Courage, I think. That they were missing with, or something. I don't know. It's the dual mechanic is kind of the same as do in certain ways. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the dual. Yeah. yeah. You know, on two tips when you play in games, mm -hmm. they should just like have a page of things that you could do. If there was an advanced do... tooltip that was that advanced, cover the whole damn screen. Hey, you know, just it's like this is how this interacts. Have that information in the shit. game. Have like, that information in the game. Not. I think you should have it as well, or at least like, like for for the people that accessible. care. Accessible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like this last page the thing, like. Don't look here unless you want to know it's everything. It's like, oh, by the way, Doom does not stop this, this, and this. Oh, it disables this. Don't expect it to do this. What a game. Well, I actually no game in the world does that. That's why people write guides. Please, we need a Doom guide. I'm sure it exists somewhere. Oh, it's on the mechanics forum somewhere. Yep. I mean, again, how it, it interacts it, with it, everything. It's changed and... Yeah, it's Come changed so much and so far. Alright, so, Dyer's my question is, do is Fnatic actually attack. have the capability of coming back? My gut is no, because Empire actually had a team who is very capable of cracking the base with things Dyer's like Mad Work, a Spectre who is attack. ridiculously farmed at this point in the game, and they have pretty much assumed all map control. Like, Silent's just able to farm by himself near the bottom tier too. Sure, he's going to be forced to back off now, but the reaction for Fnatic has to be huge now. They have to send like three or four heroes to every single lane just to remain... Well, I wouldn't Dyer's even say safe, just to make themselves feel attack. safe, because in reality, if Empire are there, they're not Dyer. safe. Yeah, in, in all of these team fights that we've seen, I think it has been two or three, what happens is Hunt comes out, Fnatic all run and scatter Dyer's in different directions. If fallen. the fights keep going like that, there's no Dyer's way in hell they'll win, because they'll just yeah. keep getting chased and they die. Yeah, what needs so to happen shows. for Fnatic is that they actually decide to take a fight. They Dyer's need BKB up on the Doom as well as attack. Luna and Trixie to actually cog one or two people. Either just have a defensive cog and push them back and then re-engage, or hook in and cog two or three. Like, they need to decide to take fights, but I just don't think they're strong enough. Even with the two BKBs up, I don't think they're strong enough. Do you think having the four levels in rock? Yes. Right now. Oh. Well, here comes the haunts. Yeah, Trixie, well... See you later. He needs to stay in the front, but not like that. Yeah, do you think having the four levels in Rocket Flare instead of the Barrage is a good idea? I don't think it matters, honestly. Like, I don't think the skill build of Clockwork is really why they're at this point in the game. Yeah, I'm just, just because it, yeah, if I you actually think this is a better skill build for what's happening right now, though. Because yeah. you just need to push. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the big problem is that he realized those supports that they have, like, they're pretty much never going to split up. Like, Vanscore and Always on the Fly have been together pretty much the entire game, except for when Vanscore TP top to stop a dive on Mag. That was, like, the only time that separated, right? So normally you max battery assault in situations where you know that the supports are going to be isolated from each other. And that's not the case this game. Empire have good enough at least four-man Dota, because obviously Silent's never going to be with the team. Good enough four-man to warrant just sticking together and just pushing towers. So maxing battery assault in that situation, hoping for a good fight where you can manage to cog one person, which is like what Lumi said, you actually want to get like two or three, just so you can stop them from having free ring stampede. It just doesn't synergize well with what they need to do with their team. So I don't know. I think Clockwork pick was just, like, I understand why they picked it, but they haven't made it work the way that they wanted to make it work. Yes. Cog actually uh, helped Team Empire. In that that previous bottom. Yeah. Cog when Trixie kind of panic Cog. It worked out fine. He survived and they got a couple of kills, but... Who wins Super Lake game against Spectre and Luna? Like, Spectre. I don't think there will be a Super Lake game. There no, it... Spectre would win. But not because the heroes are necessarily like, I'm not talking a soul 1v1. I'm talking because the haunt from the Spectre is going to damn near kill your supports by the time it gets that late. Like I mean, I think they will kill them right now, like with yeah. the Radiance and... With the farm that they have. Sure, there are circumstances where if the supports are more farmed and they have like Ghost Scepters, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. But because they're so under farmed, the Spectre becomes just way scarier, right? Like you see a haunt, you're like, oh shit, we gotta run, you know? 
It's like we can't do anything about it. So Lumi, what do you do if you're Fnatic here? You're a fly. What do you tell the boys? What's the game plan? We're in for the long haul. Yeah. I Wait mean, until the Luna and the Doom get six items, which at this pace is going to take a very long time. Like, this happens too often that I would like to omit it in pub games, but I, I always say, guys, I think oh, we yeah. need to farm for 40 more minutes because that's... You're not, you're not going to win in the next 40 minutes. you got to go 79, boys. Yeah. I mean, there, there's two arguments to it, right? Like, the first argument is saying that Empire are going to assume map control for so long that even delaying the game shouldn't help, but you also have to factor in human error, right? So say yeah. it gets to, like, 50 minutes in. You lose a fight. Then suddenly that fight becomes much more meaningful because there's more items. You can take more for the time investment of the fight. Like, say you can push. Okay, maybe two times. Yeah, this is the fight. Yeah, this is the fight. They're going to catch up silent. Yep, he's gonna get hookshot. All he has to do oh, is yeah, stampede. get stampeded. And he's just going to casually walk away and hook shots down. So they have no way of catching him. Yeah, I mean, regardless of whether Trixie popped the cog or not, because of Dagger, he's going to just walk out of it. Uh, Could have delayed Dyer's it a little bit further, tower. but meanwhile, though, Team Empire is going to do more stuff. Take Silent here, two on the bot lane, and it's... They have wards up as well. Knocking on high ground, yeah, with the wards. Dyer's they're going to get this tower. racks, I think. Yeah, because guess what? Han is still online. Plays up, too, for Fnatic, so... This is it, man. This is their last stand. I think if this Rax goes down, they just GG. Fortified. Dyer's so bottom how are you going to come back from a lane being They're actually killing the works. Look at Fly. He's like one hit and he's... Uh, that uh, damage, man. Yeah. Oh, here comes the initiation. Mad gets two, and the Han comes in. Always want to fly. Comes in with a hex as well as a shackle. They're gonna go on Honey. Honey pops a BKB. All the BKB are popped, and they actually kill. Always want to fly on the back line here. They defend against Silent. Silent gets doomed. The grave goes on him. He's still alive. He's not gonna man up though. He's trying to run. Vanscore is also running. He dies. The Team Empire is just falling apart. And Fnatic makes a big, big hold. Mac trying to blink away, and he does. And that should be the end of the engage. Then BKB is doing work. In that fight. I'm completely surprised. That was super overconfidence from Empire. Like they dove, dove. Like they didn't even. There, there was only like one support in the back. Oh. Hitting all. Oh. 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 They get the silence on three after the fact. Now it's just full panic mode. Dagon, Honey, Arrow wants to get the hell out of here. Is the stomp going to be in time? Oh. There it gets oh. out. What a TP. Okay, so. Whew. Take a look. The reconfidence re engage. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the confidence re goose. But no, like Silent and Mag both Incoming. just jumped behind the tower. They didn't need to do that. No? Like they could have very easily just slow sieged it. They already forced out the glyph. They had the Mass Serpent wards down. Just wait. Like, make Fnatic come to you. The, the, the wards were dying. Maybe they were panicking. Nothing. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, I don't think they were panicking, really. I mean, if that's you lose a ward, you lose a ward. You don't know. Is it the Doom gonna come? He's got the orb still. You not rise in he my can orb away. Behold. Oh, and he's fine. Yep. Nice pipe timing from Mag. Two more Dagons there on resolution, so that's a Dagon 5 now. I've got a question about the pipe on the, the Blink Dagger. If you pipe before, do the, does the Blink Dagger never go on cooldown? No, it does. Yeah, if yeah. even absorb damage stops Blink. Yeah, okay, yeah. So like if you have um, <clears throat> pipe or anything like that that absorbs damage, you still... The best uh, example for that is if you have uh, TA Refractions on mm -hmm. and you take damage... It still breaks your Blink. Yeah, it still breaks your Blink, even though you don't take any damage because Refraction blocks it. So. TA players out there? T-I-L. You know, once on a time, away. damage didn't break Blink. I remember that actually. And you could just blink whenever. <laughs> Once upon a time. And it was super annoying to try to kill anybody because everyone would go blink daggers. You know, Andy, you say clowny Dota a lot. I think that, that was that, the clowny Dota. That is clowny Dota. <laughs> when I used to play Dota, like the very start, everyone used to just pick Troll Warlord and get a basher, and you just uh, you couldn't days. do anything. And, yeah. and multiple bashers at that. Because they used to stack. And, and they didn't have to cool them as well. Alright, so Empire. They've got their eyes on Roshan, and a heart now picked up on Silent. If he gets a heart in Aegis, I dare say even if they died, they would still be able to win the fight. Yeah. I mean, right now they've been grading the Spectre two fights in a row, and uh, they've been dealing with Spectre through that. Like, Spectre is just forced to run. I yeah. think with a heart, uh, you know, the shoe's on the other foot. Well, let's consider the positioning that Silent was in last time. Like, he was behind the Tier 3. Past like, the racks. Yeah, like past the barracks. Standing by a couple of huts and like three members of Fnatic, and then he got doomed. Like that's where he got doomed. He didn't get doomed because he was attacking the tower. He got doomed because he was way, way in there. Now, this fight, positional wise, looks pretty good for Fnatic. I mean, I Re think. Really? I think if Fnatic, okay. even if they get the jump, like what are they gonna hook shot into mass no, actually, yeah. <laughs> Like how are they gonna fight that? 
They need to get the Doom up closer so we can Doom someone important. If they need to hook anybody, it's either Vanscor or always want to fly in the back and fight away from the wards. But the problem is, like... I mean, they're going to give up Aegis. Yeah, I like, mean, the yeah. Roshan's going to die no matter what. So, I'm not entirely sure what the game plan is from Fnatic, but they got to make something happen here. Scare tactics, perhaps? Just throw enough nukes that Empire might back off? Hmm. Got to hook shot Vanscor, man. That's it. Oh man, he's got an Impus. Oh, this is so unfortunate. They're gonna find Arrow right away. Maybe he's going to be able to get his Doom off. No Tail immediately dies to Resolution. The Eclipse and a Coil hitting on three on the high ground. And Fnatic just do not seem to have anything to stand against the onslaught that is Empire right now. Honey just has to run away with his BKB on. Arrow bought back. So did No Tail. They want to try to go for the Regus. Resolution just casually walks into a Doom. Vanscore can't get the Grave off. And Sile and Mag in the meantime are securing themselves the late game. The TP away with the Grave on as well. Well, and Hani DCs. So, hmm, Resolution good. sacrificing himself for the greater good, I guess. What a I dude! I mean, he just ah, secured. I don't know if he was lagging or he's like, take me. Like he didn't need to do that. Roshan. He didn't need to do that to get the Aegis. No, I know. Yeah, Doom so absorbed. Like, Some questionable plays. Yeah. I just want to say that I find it really funny because normally um, when we're casting, the lights are off. I was about to say and the production same thing. keep turning them on because they think when it's they pause. No. No, 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 no. no. They or they think the game is over. Think, yeah. Right, but it, it could be both because if they pause and they cut too, right? Like, they cut to us in no, the no, studio. No, no. This is the first pause. No, but the light's been no, on for... Second pause. Second pause. A second pause? And they just turn it back on. I feel like whenever there's a team no, fight that's yeah, going really bad right. for Fnatic, the light comes on. I'm like, <laughs> oh man, geez, she's coming soon. When, when they put, um, when they had the Roche fight, the, yeah. the lights went on. So there's some dude in production. He's like, ah, this is yeah, yeah, yeah. He just has this switch. And he's like, it's probably wet boss. Probably. He's always an early gg -er. <laughs> Then again, I am too. I GG it like eight minutes into the game. Like, I noticed. And then most of the time, I actually win when I do that. No, I was watching a stream the other day. You were calling GG like 10 minutes in. And then you guys played for 40 minutes and you started winning. Yeah, like, I was really, really hard. And yeah. then you lost the game. It's like, oh, hope is. <laughs> was that when we was fake. playing? Uh, yeah, it was a Murana game. No, that Murana game we won. Oh, did you? Yeah, because I. Oh like, no, no! You dropped the rapier. They picked it up, and then yeah. and then he just walked up to you. And I he bought got killed. back. I bought back, and we killed them in our base. And like, I got oh, the rapier. rapier. Back. <laughs> yeah, like, it was a bay. Like, it was, a, it was a bay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Dude, I was twenty-seven and four that game. Fifty and one. Yeah, but you picked Ember yeah. against a Meepo. That, that just doesn't count. No. Against a Meepo. Fifty and one. And you probably well camped like thirty of those kids. Like five. All right, whatever. I, I had to get the. I had to get the. Had to get to the salad. Well, camp now. is such a like a like a douchebag. Oh, it is. It's definitely. a scummy move. Yeah. But you're allowed one douchebag thing a week. Is that how it works? Yeah, it's like yeah. You can say one I think I overused my douchebags. There's like a committee that like meet each other. I see. It's like you can only be this much of a dick during your games. I'm like way up here. I'm just like off the charts. I'm always really really nice. Yeah, no. No, actually, Andy, it's when creepy. you play Dota, you're like uh, you're not douchebag to your teammates. I'm surly. You're sarcastic. You're I'm sarcastic. Passive aggressive. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, passive aggressive. Yeah. But it's always kind of. I can tell you're laughing when you're saying it, but not on the outside. You mean the inside? Hmm. <laughs> What's cracking? Yeah, um, I think there's some problems with Honey staying connected to the game. So they're like, you know. Technical. Okay, we're going to try oh, one, one more time. And one the more game is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Two buybacks on Doom and No Tail. Yeah, I mean, the buybacks were kind of necessary. Because otherwise, they just would have lost the racks. Mm -hmm. But there's no Mass Serpent Ward, so it's going to be a while before Empire pushed. Probably just going to wait on Resolution to be alive again. And in the meantime, just do whatever you want. Yeah, but high DCs again. It's like you said, uh, mm. once we have. Empire is such nice guys. Look at them. Huh? Yeah. But let's, let's be honest for a second, okay? It's 28 to 10. It's 30 minutes in. You have an exposed Rax. You have no Glyph. And there's like a 2% chance that you're going to win. Do you, are you saying they're gonna Do you let the out? game be paused for like 10 minutes just to let one person reconnect? Oh. Oh, if you're, like if Empire, you're a team Empire. Empire super mannered them the other day. Like, was it the, super mannered. Well, it, was the, it was this matchup, yeah. yeah. It was Empire Fnatic, and they're like, no, no, no. We'll take the loss. Yeah. Isn't it Fnatic's turn? To say. The shoe was on the other. To say, okay, we probably lost this game. Yeah. No, yeah. What's, I think the, so. what's the graph looking at? I think so. Gives a go. All right, but, but they did win that one fight. So. Oh, Jesus. It's looking a little bit grim. Yeah. Look, they did win that one fight. Did oh, they win fight. that fight? What fight did they win? They regoosed them. They regoosed and then they got killed. 
Yeah, but yeah, that but that's was a one fight. Win. That was a one fight. You killed the Spectre? Right? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a one fight. I don't, in my think, book. You the I don't Spectre, think they guys. can win, man. I don't think you they can win. You defended the base and did you killed the Spectre. Did you press the graph button? I did. I saw over there. It's pretty rough. It is pretty you rough. know math. Yes. That is a big number, man. That is a big ass number, right? You could not cycle up that hill. That's all I'm saying. You can. It, it would be really fucking hard. Yeah. Like, it's not one of those. I don't have the kind of gears for that kind of thing. You know. You what need mean? like one of those, you know, 12 speeds or 13 yeah, speed yeah. bikes where you just you set the resistance so low that you like pedal 700 times and you're still <laughs> like going backwards. <laughs> your heart is like falling out of your mouth because you're so yeah. exhausted. Like. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to get up this hill. It's just not working out. Yeah, and honestly, Aegis on uh, the Heart Spectre is is yeah. You know, it's what. I'm not even saying it to be like an ass. I'm just like, no, I, I, yeah. Can they win? Because I don't think they can. You never know. I think you you never know. If they it. go like, okay, they're, they're no full rats down. ham, like full ham, dive inside of the base, go which in the they, well. Which they did before. Yeah, but no, I mean like this time they would actually have to dive harder than that. Like they would have to dive tier fours and go into the well and bathe in it for them to come back. Okay. Well, what? maybe. Hey, since there's this time to shoot the shit, because you nothing's know, happening, right? All right. What do you call a term when you talk about something that you do? So, for example, describing, you know, like uh, a commentator talking about the subject of commentating, or an artist drawing about something, a topic about artists. Is there a term for that? I think it's just like. Are you, you know, not? I don't think there's a specific word for it. Maybe there is. I mean, actually, I'm I'm sure there is. Okay. But I don't know. What, I'm not a wordsmith. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly. I don't know what, what I'm talking about. But what I'm trying to lead into this discussion is, when you go through commentating school, we all right. been through commentating school, and he's except for him. He he's, he's, he's going yet. through it right now. He's going through it right now. I never got the memo about this thing. <laughs> so one thing you're always supposed to do is never call GG. Right. To, to hype the excitement. Right? Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Hold on a second. You, you're, you're, you need to work on that. So what? do I get like? Uh, can I okay, win? Okay, I got GG nine minutes. In. You got GG during draft. Give people. No, I didn't. I didn't call GG during draft. Sometimes you. I said I think the Empire is like. I said they had a better team. Okay. That's what I said. Right. Which I think is fair. Yeah. That's not saying like GG. I'm not saying this. Time. I'm giving the viewership the benefit of the doubt, is saying they know enough to know that I know. They're not saying the game is over. Doesn't mean the game is not over. You right. know what I mean? But TI4. Like, I'm saying. At TI4, you shouldn't do that. No, I'm not gonna do it at TI. Okay. But I'm going to look at this game and go with 28 to 10 and 30 minutes in, and there's a 20,000 gold lead. experience lead. Okay. This team's probably not going to win. Yeah, yeah, I, agree. I think that's a fair assessment. But, but in commentating You know school, what? Toby told you that, didn't he? No. He didn't? No. He told me that, like, way, way back, like, when I first started commentary. Okay. Because so you're, you're not supposed to call it GG, like, for, for the viewers out there. Like, if you want to be a commentator, you're not supposed to call it GG. You're not supposed to, right? Right. But, but you do it, I and you're it, a commentator. No, I find it really, really hard to not do that. Yeah, and, and you know, like to to, so, let's say Andy calls, "Oh, this game's over." Mm -hmm. It's up to me now to uh, try side. to bring the other team it's back. Like, yeah, in. man, no, they, they killed the I Spectre. Should, I should totally put you on the spot more often than be like, "Ah, it's unwinnable." <laughs> and, and, and then, then I want Lumi to try to theory. And it sounds so bad because there's twenty thousand gold. Yeah. There's an Aegis <laughs> on Spectre. There's a Heart. There's a Vanguard of Radiance. They're like, uh, but they gotta, they gotta uh, enchantress guys. Fair <laughs> damage. <laughs> Fair damage. At a certain stage, you're just lying, like you're straight up lying. Yeah. But I yeah, don't think so. that. I don't think it's actually one of them stages. Honestly, I don't think so. No, I think it is. I don't know. It's like a hundred percent. So I'm not sure if you were watching some of the Dota that would happen last year, where um, Alliance was picking a lot of the Call OPL. Yeah, I remember. And those games, they go a while. Yeah. And they go a while. Nobody does anything, but you know, as the go graph slowly dips up, the PL eventually just win. Yeah. Um, yeah, those games are really hard to cast in the sense that you know what's going to happen for for the casters um but you have to hype it up yeah. like oh the pl might like, oh they, they they picked the support off it's 45 minutes and you lost uh -uh. yeah this looking a bit grim let's look, look at this shit yeah it's apparently not just honey who's having the connectivity issue there's mm. um some dude called i think he's a caster papa Soto. pgl PGL. Sounds that, like that that organization. Of, uh, sounds like pro golfing league or something. <laughs> Probably. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But he's in the wrong game. Like. Yeah, they're they're definitely commentators though. He's on a Romanian download server. Weird. I it's trans. Honey is the same. Fucking trans. Yeah. I mean, this guy is just musical reconnect disconnect like over yeah. and over and over again. So, Honey is uh, apparently experiencing some issues. Cyborg Matt said he'd help him out. What a, what a dude. What a dude. Cyborg Matt is 
What a dude. He's that guy needs shout outs. No, he's literally like the unsung hero of Dota 2. Like, he goes around he's the like, shadows. He's the global IT guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He just goes around he's like, all right, fine, this is what you do. All right, it's fixed. Yeah. And then, like, he doesn't say it, but you just kind of feel dumb. Like, after he fixes something for you, you're like, I should have known that. I could have Googled that. Yeah. Uh, there's something you just shouldn't know. I mean, he doesn't do it. It's never, Matt's awesome. But oh, you just yeah. feel that way, you know? You feel like, man, he's, like, really good at this. Yeah, he, he's not... He's not coming to the team be like, oh, I could help you if you pay me. He oh, just no, like, he offers the service for yeah, free. He doesn't get paid for There's anything. There's stories about uh, teams not getting paid, and Cyborg Matt is like putting on his uh, bounty hunter suit and it's like, I'm, I'm going to get you your money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, through legal or illegal means. Not sure about that. But yeah, Cyborg Matt just does a lot of things behind the scene. Yeah, he's a superhero. Yeah. What a guy. He's what a plug. What a plug. But what a guy. So is it GG yet? I, uh, no, game is not game. Look, game's look, not man, over. This is going to be a reoccurring thing. You yeah. made the ultimate mistake. No, nah, man. Right? You brought it up, which <laughs> means that now I have to do it. Look, I put I put LD under the bus so much because I would be the like in the, that casting the pair, negative I would be you, you would be the GG. -er. Yeah, I'd be yeah. like, ah, oh, this game's over. And LD LD's on it enough times, so I, I LD's like the master just BSer now. He's like, oh yeah, they totally can do. Well, obviously, like Fnatic think they can still win. Otherwise, they would have called GG. Fair. Yeah. So, but do they have access to the golden experience? Craft? I'm sure, uh, like experienced players like themselves, they have, play, have played enough Dota yeah. to have an estimate of how bad. You get it is. that looming sense of oh shit. It's like that guy has like three times my net worth. Actually, I don't even know what the net worth looks like right now, and I can't open it because you keep hitting enter. So yeah, they're actually ballpark not that right? far. They're not that far. The biggest all. difference though is the supports. Mm. Like. Okay, three members right now on Fnatic, if you combine them, they're barely ahead of the Shadow Shaman. Okay? Yeah, but this, like, one of them's Clockwork, so he kind of could be like a Transformer kind of Power Ranger thing, so he could combine. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know, dude. I feel like this is just procrastination at this point. Maybe. I mean, we did say that this is the most important day, so maybe that's it, right? Like, they say, okay, sure. you know, we've played six games already. We haven't had like the best record. Yeah. We need to win these games to really secure our, our spots in the top six. So I understand that aspect of it, like not wanting to just GG out because you know that hey, this could very well indicate if we're going to uh, to so play or not, yeah. Yeah. right? So how does the, how does the competition work? You play your games and then the top six go to the playoffs, yep. and then four go to the finals. Mm, I don't know actually how it works after that because it's a new format. Well, I mean, it's kind of the old format, but Shouldn't there's more know? teams. No, Should Bruno knows everything. No one tells me anything. Like, nothing Yeah, nobody tells anyone. We anything. had to Google ourselves to find out what's going on in our yeah. schedule. Unless like, you specifically ask, you'll never know. Yeah. And if you do ask, we won't know. Yeah. It's like, I've never known. That's why usually we have Bruno for this. Bruno's not here. He's just... He's probably getting us food. No, no. we already ate. You guys already ate. What did you, you were in the car this time. We I even specifically asked yeah. you. I was you're like, not playing are you hungry? Game. And you're like, nah, man, I had breakfast. Yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. any shit. Yeah, no, no, no. We have cold pizza in the fridge. Yeah, okay. Great. Because apparently, when you're doing a Diablo show, they have soda. Did you see the fridge? Is it hooked up? They have soda, they have Monster, they have cold pizza. We're doing the wrong game. We really are. Like we either should be doing Diablo or League of Legends. One has money, one has food. Dude, I love food. I think... There you go. I go with the food as well, every time. Yeah, that's true. Well, with money, you could buy food. He heard our calls. Hey, we What's put up cracking? the Bruna signal in the ah. sky. It's just a picture of your almost oh. pompadour, and then... A really bright colored shirt. That's, That's the Bruno great. sign. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of this game? I'm gonna like lay on the desk right now because I'm tired. I'm not commentating the game, so I, I'm. Like, have you been watching the game? Yeah, yeah. But I, I, what I was going to is, no, like, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't have the, I can't call the GG kind of thing. The fanatic is pretty screwed right now. Okay, Bruno. I want to hear your thoughts on the commentating school of rules. No calling GG. Uh, okay. I think when it gets to a certain point, you can say it's over. Um. Okay. So my take on this is. Once the game is past the point where it's obvious that a team is going to win, what you have to do is focus on, Hold on. what the team can do. What's to it. what's obvious? Like the guy is hitting the drone and the drone's at down to ten HP. Is that obvious that they're gonna lose? Or, okay, or okay. are you talking about I this think point it's like right being now? Down a rack. Okay, you, you just reminded racks. me of something totally different. Like you know the you you well you taught. So you know the thing about the surprise test, the teachers yeah, yeah, yeah. telling you it's going to Pop quiz. Uh, no, but the thing is there's this story about a teacher that's um, telling the students, Okay. in the next 30 days, I'm going to 
give you a surprise test. Okay. And you won't be able to prepare the next day, like the day before, because you will never know which day it is. So you'll have to prepare throughout all the month. Okay. Right? So the students are really smart. And they say, well, clearly, it can't be on the last day of the month. Because if it was on the last day, by the day before, I knew, like, well, I didn't have it so far, so it has to be tomorrow, so I can prepare the day before. Okay. So it can't be the last day. It can't be the second to last day either. Because if you go to the second to last day, you know that it can't be the last day. So it has to be the second to last day, so you'll prepare. Okay. And then you keep going and going and going, and you, like, That's get to the first day, and you're like, okay, there's clearly there can't be any surprise test, because just by going backwards, uh, you, it's impossible. And then the next day, the that teacher comes. That sounds like a very fallacy argument. Well, it's just like probably how, um, like, uh, what's, the what's the name of Indu Induction doesn't really work. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, Is this but yeah. Over? <laughs> In this case, it's not about surprise test, but it's like, well, when you're hitting the throne, it's pretty much over, right? Yeah. But if when you're hitting the throne, it's pretty much over. When you're hitting tier four, and four enemies are dead, it's pretty much over. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, so, so by induction, we're going back to here with 20,000 gold. Only, it's over. By induction, we're going right. to, yeah, let, let me see. Okay, so we're 20,000 gold, 20,000 experience. Yeah. With the ages on the hard. With the ages. No rust. So at this point, you can, like, either keep the lie on and say, no, well, yeah, as you said. Like, it's not a lie. It's, uh, I mean, okay. Don't belittle no, what no, no, I no, do no, here, no, guys. No, 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 it's no, no, not no, no. a lie. Okay, okay, okay. It's not a lie, but right, okay. <laughs> so you can go and assume they're most likely going to lose. Okay. This is what they should have done, maybe, or this is what they could have done. This is why they are losing right now. This is what the other team did right. Commentator school right here. And man. you have like good ten minutes to talk about what the other team did well. I mean, the same things that you talk after the game when you're doing post game. But we already went over all that. We well, did it throughout well, the game. Well, yeah, but the thing is that you have such long because pause. you have periods of downtime. No, 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 because this is this is like. This is commentary school 102. Right. Okay, not 101. <laughs> okay. So we know you kind of have to go over what the teams did good or what they could have done better. Right. Like Fnatic at the beginning of the game, I already said at the draft that they didn't pick greedy enough mm -hmm. because they didn't have heroes who were going to be able to actually punish the later in the game. And the Spectre's still going to outcarry. Empire still has better initiation and they still have better team fight. Well, then so you go what did you pick for? When did you go to? Um, then did you go to? Uh, oh, Jesus! I can't speak English. Is hard. Then you go to. Commentary 103. Okay. This is <laughs> flame the players. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I it like just it. like I so can't believe he went. Trixie to got two of his teammates killed uh, under the tower. Yeah. I already flamed him, so I've like aced that course. Well, but already. he also had the the panic cog on the yeah, tier that's one. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. where he got two of his teammates. Yeah. He almost got no tail first blooded in the woods. <laughs> yeah. He right called right and like, I'm stuck. <laughs> and then he had to like tango himself to freedom. So, all right, I already did that. What's next? Hmm. Okay. I need like my masters now. I'm moving on to advanced courses. Okay, Shane, any ideas? Uh, Shane is still one and one in school. <laughs> Shane's like still enrolling. Yeah. yeah. It's not um, great. Okay, okay, 104. You talk about how they won because this hero was so strong or so weak that it needs to be nerfed for buff. And you just go into theory crafting uh, about how this hero how would be better. How can we argue that Centaur, a hero that we hadn't seen in ages who got nerfed before he was even seen again, mm -hmm. needs to be changed? It's all dazzle, nerf dazzle. No, but Dazzle, like, his change was so minute, like, it, minute. it was such a small change. It was the, f the straw that broke the camel's back. Shut up, Shane. <laughs> 104, tell your co commentator <laughs> to shut up. up. <laughs> it's something stupid. You're a fucking idiot. Pull the James out. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I don't know. I... It gets to a stage where there's there's really only so many things you can theorize, right? Mm -hmm. There's only so many ways that you could possibly say, okay, they could have done this, they could have played this, and then it gets to be semantics, like what hero yeah. could they have picked, and then there's like dozens of other heroes that they could have picked in a situation that would have done specific things. But nobody wants to hear about that because it would go on and on and on and on. Okay. And then it gets monotonous. So I have this plan B, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I was bored. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Typical Bruno. I did this because I was bored. I was bored. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much how I operate. So... In the meantime, since we like we went through all the schools of commentating, and we're filling out a pause, right? I was thinking maybe we ju just like test Lumi on his knowledge on uh, music, movies, oh, oh, and gosh. maybe sports. It's got, it's simple. It's actually like only one, two, three, four, seven. So I'm going to give you seven names. Seven names. Seven names, and you're going to tell me uh, actually last names, and you're going to tell me if it's someone related to oh, movies. Oh, choice. Okay. Yeah. Movies. Music, 
or sports? Multiple choice is like the easiest. I know, but okay. I mean, yeah, it's one right, one, right? Me, I'll it. honestly say if I don't know, I won't randomly guess. Uh, well, but okay, you say I don't know, but then you guess. Okay. Fair enough? Like so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like the SATs, you, you, you get loose points for, for guessing. guessing. No, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, marking, yeah. So, okay, uh, we started with easy. Tarantino. Movies. Okay, good. Hetfield. Oh, come on, this is okay. so easy. I don't know, but I would uh, educate a guess on sports. <laughs> Wrong. Andy? Music. Good. What band? Metallica. Good. James Hetfield. Yeah. Oh. That's Messi. Kind of a, uh, huh? Messi. That's a sports. Good. It's my homie. <laughs> <laughs> Beaver. Beaver. Yeah. That's music. Good. Baby. Beaver. All right, that's, that's <laughs> not losers. That's not losers. <laughs> Costner. I, I have um, no clue. I have no clue. Okay, guess. Movies. Good. Lucky guess. Yeah. Lucky guess. Yeah. Kevin Costner, man. He had that like seven hour movie. How does he keep getting work? Waterworld was awful. I don't know. It was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. I loved that movie when How I was like. I loved that loved that movie when I was a kid. It had no plot. It was done it's water. Like, it was we're cool. We're three, on a fucking three, three raft hours of made out of garbage cans. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh yeah. By the way, I have gills. <laughs> like what the fuck? It was awesome. Three I, hours. of That was my one f bomb. Really? Like I had to use it on Waterworld. Like I'm not gonna get another opportunity like yeah. that. I gotta yeah. just seize the opportunity. How many? Continue. Was it one each? Yeah, I tangentized there, but sorry. Two remaining. Okay. Vic. What? Super easy. Super easy. Like crazy easy. Vic. Michael Vic. That would work. So what is that? See, I know the name, but I don't know who it's from. Uh, oh my god. I Are think, you even a person? I think that's sports. Good. Good. So it's an it's a, uh, American football player. American football player. I didn't know who that was, so... Who is notorious for... Tr I don't know, shooting some, somebody? No, mm. no, that's... Too, some would say worse. Yeah, I would actually so, say Some would worse. say worse. I don't know. What did he do? He had, um, like, dog fighting. Happening ah, okay. And his house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super yeah, all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty bad. He's he is playing. And the last one is actually kind of like a easiest one that you can get. I thought Bieber was pretty easy. Schumacher. I don't know. Guess. Guess. Well, based and then on this. Answer. Is driving? So sports? See, I don't know. Oh, you could have said movies, and it would have worked. <laughs> because yeah, you, you could have, have guessed either. Michael or Michael Schumacher, which uh -huh. is a uh, like F1 racer, right. okay. a guy with most titles in history, or you could have Joel Schumacher, which is the movie director. He was also in that movie about the Brazilian guy. Which I'm pretty sure Michael Schumacher was in that movie, wasn't he? Bruno, you should have tried harder. You should have came up with one that had all three. So I was trying <laughs> to, but I couldn't. That's I mean, actually pretty tough. There yeah. has to be like a singer or something Schumacher. Anyway. He's been in like movies and stuff. He has a um, there's like a um, like. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of two out of threes, but there's not a lot of no, three. No, there's definitely a song called Schumacher. Music. 100%. A song. A song. It's like dance music. It's terrible. Yeah, really but you terrible. can't have just like some weird reference, right? It right. has to no, be like a, be a legitimate person. thing. Well, it's like a thing that you'd hear. So how many did I get correct? Uh, like I legitimately. You missed two, right? You missed two, yeah. You did better than I would have. You had the last one. The last one was. Okay, so four out of seven. Like a hint. Four out of seven. You're like yeah. a barely functioning human being. What for? I, I, I would challenge a lot of people out there that cannot get four out of seven. You, you, what? you. No, it was pretty easy. It was like super easy. It was really, really, really easy. That would, that's like your multiplication tables to us. I see. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you have like more we than didn't 50%. go home okay. unless we'd seen Waterworld and knew who Kevin Costner was. <laughs> and hated for, for me, for me, that's satisfactory. For yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you, you went past fifty percent. Man, the, sure. that fucking Dance of the Wolves movie is way worse than Waterworld. But no, way. no, 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 no. Yes, it is. That's with Wolves. It's actually legit. I'm gonna call him Two Socks or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I thought the Dance of the Wolves book was very good. Yeah, I mean, but I thought the movie was, sh was shenanigans. Like it was just eh. Okay, so you watch. Uh, uh, that's uh, that, 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 that's a good segue for something. I'm gonna name a few movies. Okay. And you told me if you watch any of these ones, or at least if you, if you remember the title, okay. Pocahontas. Yes, I know. I know that. Okay. It's a Disney movie. Dance with Wolves. No, I don't know what that is. Avatar, not the last Airbender, like Avatar, the guy with the blue guys. Is it the the one that has like really next level 3D CG? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't see it. Okay. Uh, the Last Samurai. Really? I didn't see That's it, but I didn't know of the movie. Yeah, I mean, that it was is. Popular, no, no, no. The, the reason I'm actually mentioning these movies is because they're all the same movie. 
They really are, actually. It's all the same yeah. movie. It's the like guy goes into the, different the culture. foreigner goes into a different culture. Uh -huh. Uh, the culture resists him because they're, uh, they're at and war. And there's like, they're like something acceptance, different. and then and there's acceptance. There's a girl or something, and, and he falls in love, and he becomes part of the and tribe, John and he helps Smith. them defend against uh, like yeah, his own people. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, cool. Uh, yeah. So uh, there you go. Like if you watch one of these movies, see them all. You, you just, you just <laughs> whatever you do, movies. don't watch the one with Tom Cruise because <laughs> anything that he's in, I just can't take it seriously at all. Because wait, wait, the wait. guy has less emotion than Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Tom Keanu Cruise Reeves was actually on, in a similar on. movie called Forty Seven Ronin, Ronin or something. Yeah, it's coming it's out. It's the same movie again. Yeah. Okay. So question: Who is the guy in Lost in translation? Is that uh, Bill Murray? Bill Murray yeah. Is that Tom Cruise? No. No, that's no, Bill Murray. What? No, even. I, I don't even know. No. Tom See, Cruise I, is, I like that movie, by Tom way. Cruise is Mission Impossible. Which one? All, all of them. All of them. He's uh, uh, like the main there's guy. There's like four or five of them now, I think. Didn't they change like the guy? Mm, they no. changed other well, guys. Well, there was like a Mission Impossible uh, uh, TV show a long, long time ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was. And that was not Tom Cruise. But the movies that started like in the 90s. early 2000s or maybe late 90s. So the most recent one where he's really old and he can't like fulfill his missions. Because it was that's back or something. James yeah, yeah. Bond. That's James Bond. Yeah, that's not. That's Mission Impossible. Holy that was shit. Daniel Craig, James Bond, the newest. God, one. this is so no, hard. No, no, it's fine. They're basically the same. Like realistically. Uh, kind of. Give it to him. Except Come on, Daniel lads. Craig is like a way better James Bond than Tom. Okay, Cruise so who's that guy? Who's the guy in in that other movie? In the all of There's them. a series. Matt Damon. Born, oh, the born, born, le yeah, born legacy, supremacy. Is, is that similar to Mission Impossible? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That was except also the kind of newest one, they had that Aaron guy in it. What the hell is his name? Uh, Aaron wait, wait. something? No, 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 no. No, it's not no that was his name in the movie. Yeah, uh, the the guy is called uh, Reinhardt. Ren uh, um, Ryan Reinhardt? No, 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 no. We can just IMDb if we need. Yeah, to. I, it's fine. It's uh, <laughs> we have the time. It's a guy that they hawk eye in. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know who he is, but I. I'm pulling a Lumi. I actually can't remember his name. Do I, I don't know. I haven't seen the most recent. The thing is, the movie was so bad. Just go ahead. That I actually didn't even re like want to remember it. Like, okay, the whole Born like legacy, which is like a three movie series. Right? Is it worth with watching or no? It was pretty good, right? Because the first, the first movie one, it sets up like an emotional attachment with the character. I'm not going to spoil anything because you haven't seen it. If you're going to watch it, but it sets you up to actually Jerry care Renner. about the character. Thank mm -hmm. you. And what happened? But then they do another one, and so it's this a is new number guy. two. No, 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 this is the four. Oh, okay. Like, the first three have Matt Damon. So the first three is good. Yeah. I should watch it. And then the, the last one is, like, they put in a new guy, and it's like, I don't give a shit what happens. Yeah, I don't guy. care about you. I want it's Matt like, Damon. I don't care what kind of struggles you have. I'm hungry. I don't even know what I'm to make for dinner. I just turned it off. I see. It's too late to bother. Yeah. What's okay. on in here? <laughs> Want to go CSGO? Okay, yeah. we're going to finish it on CSGO. Yeah, we're still well, well, uh, Jeremy Renner there, so yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah, whoever's helping. Yeah, excellent. Uh, some people want to maybe rematch in CSGO, see what happens there. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be something interesting, like a tiebreaker. I'm so bad at FPS games. Uh, me too. I'm like... It's bad. I hey. actually, you know what, I, um, the reason I'm so bad at... Oh, actually, the problem I have with FPS games is that I'm physically unable to strafe. I get strafe. What's yeah, strafe? Stra strafe is like to move... Side to side. Side to side. Yeah. Which oh, is actually like pressing A, the A, B, A, S, D. A and D. Yeah. The, the problem with that is that I'm old, right? So my first FPS yeah, was um, Wolfenstein 3D. Oh, God, you couldn't strafe in that game. You only had, like, turning. And, and like, you had Doom as well, which yeah. were before the mouse was actually a thing. Like, uh -huh. you don't have a mouse in your computer because you have DOS, you don't have Windows. So everything was with the keyboard. Okay. So how did you use FPS back then? You used the arrow keys. Uh -huh. You shot with like control and maybe use like alt to switch weapons or maybe space to jump if the game allowed you to jump which uh -huh. most early games didn't allow you so okay. like a ledge that would be like two feet tall you couldn't go through that well, but fairness. the thing is that you play and you play so much that that <coughs> the arrow keys would actually make you turn and forward and backward would make you go, go forward and backward I see. and I played so much like I was a kid I had so much like free time I broke my leg or well, was not break but I had like a surgery on a leg and I was six months without being able to do any kind of exercise so I played I played a lot of video games and then when eventually when the mouse came out and people started stop using the arrow keys and started using WASD mm -hmm. I was like oh this is so like natural and I rebound every single time so that A and D would like turn oh mm -hmm. Jesus kind of like the old you got it you are totally the reinforcing that you can't teach old dogs new tricks. Exactly. Right? But what age were you then? Like 12? 
Uh, no, like nine. Yeah. You adapt really quick at that age. Ten. Yeah, but the thing is, like, every stubborn. single time, and I was like, this was still like single player. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a broadband internet maybe when I was 14. Uh, before that, it was like 56.6k modem, super slow, you can't really play online. Man, dude, those are dark ages, man. I know, right? Take us back. Whenever someone would ring your house, you'd like scream, no, 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 don't answer it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just remember that horrendous noise they made. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> like, but at the same time, I would so stay weird. up really late. And I would have to like I would lose connection every uh -huh. once in a while, so I'd have to redial in. And like I would wake up my mom. She's like, "What the hell is that noise?" I'm like, "Oh, no, it's my mom. It's my mom. It's fine. fine, mom. The house isn't burning down. <laughs> Go back to bed." It was bad. It was I'm like that bed. too. Like for Dota, I use Legacy. Yeah. And people have been telling me just go away from Legacy. Yeah. Which is much easier, but I'm so used to the keys. It's more than easier. Like sometimes. It's way easier. Like for I, I think for Invoker, for example, it's. No, the Invoker is actually fine, I think. Yeah, Invoker's alright. Like, sometimes when you're playing... Like, for me, I have difficulty finding six inventory keys. What about Rubik? Like, when you steal a spell, like, isn't it easier to just have this? Yeah, thing? for Rubik, it's really messed up, because X, I believe, is lift. Yeah. But if you steal Tornado, which is also X, you you're have fucked. You have to <laughs> like, I, I literally have to tap uh, and to options and change it to <laughs> mid-team fight. You should be able to change, like, individually what you want legacy keys for. Because I can see why invoker Ooh. players want it. Because mm -hmm. you know how, like, if you're using the new keys, like the yeah. PWER, whatever, it, it's based on what you invoke when you invoke it. So DNF it. can yeah, change. DNF. Right. Yeah. So you can actually just have, like, say, for instance, like, super easy one, like EMP Tornado. It's always going to be the same no matter which order you have them invoked. Right. But if you're using the new keys, then if you invoke Tornado first, and then you invoke EMP after, it's going to be bound for me, it's going to be V. But if I invoke it second, then it's going to be C. So okay. I have to remember what order I invoke yeah. the spells in when I use them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you keep using Legacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep on keeping on, buddy. Even I when I played Total One, for the most part, I had them, the keys that actually changed them to QWE or... There was some name for it? Yeah, custom keys. keys. Cust yeah. Oh, yeah. Custom keys. Yeah. There's like a couple different. Yeah. yeah. Like, so I that would screw up your Warcraft 3 clients so bad. At least it did for me. Like, I had so many problems I'm with sorry, that. I used a third party thing. It was called Auto Hotkey. That's what was, I used. Yeah. 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 Which That's was what right. custom keys was based on. It was essentially yeah. a thing that was outside the gate that rebound your keys. Hmm. So I had like one of these mouses, like this cool and rocket mouse mine was not rocket but <laughs> it's like that plug yeah Ridiculous. so it had like this uh, middle button and two buttons here so i would rebound the worker three so i could use items with those mm -hmm. it was so good i used to always have just a crappy old mo mouse look because uh, back when i played fps games like all these ones they just started coming out like all the fancy ones mm -hmm. and they're all terrible but like now i guess not not like this real cat which is amazing. No, no, no. no. It, like, yeah. it, it's like, it has colors. I yeah. actually really like this mouse. The keyboard, pretty awesome, to be honest. I like the keyboard. The way uh, uh, like, yeah. they're the like, best cherries. It's kind of, I'm very intimidated by the fact that the it colors. lights, no, yeah. it lights the letter That's that so I write. Cool. It's really cool, but it intimidates me. I don't say like, 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 I would keep, I keep pressing it. Look, <laughs> it's like, that, no, it's, it's like a fat finger thing, right? So, like, say, for instance, you're playing a game, and you're like, oh, I totally hit that, and you look at your keyboard, and you're oh, like... Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no, I, didn't. I completely missed that. But you, you, and you wouldn't tell anyone that, though. <laughs> and that's just your little secret. You, yeah. Yeah, I definitely hit Q. And if you, like, if you have five fingers, you can also use these three amazing macro keys. Easy shifts. The easy They're shift? called Thumbser keys, first off. I don't know. Second off. What, what, what are they called? Thumbser keys. Because you hit him with your thumb. Did okay. you not see the Epi commercial? I don't remember. Does he call them thumbs I remember or keys? the highest quality cherries. Are you guys like all goldfish? You just have like 10 second memory spans for yeah, everything. Yeah, like, he has so much, so many buzzwords, that commercial. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah. really That's true. true. He has a lot of buzzwords. There's like easy shift and thumbs or keys and... Does he say thumbs or key? Yeah. Yes, he does. That's an actual thing. Thumb, the... sir. Is uh, thumb, thumb, sir? Excuse me. I don't hit anything Let's with see. my thumb except for spacebar. Right. Not a thing. What about alt? I use V. Do you hit alt with V? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so alt and space bar, for sure. Yeah. Windows key, I hit with pinky, and so do I left control, right? Yeah, you can see that. But I don't hit anything else with my thumb. Where are your fingers resting when you're playing Dota? Up here. Really? Yeah, because I have, like, F keys are my control groups. So, like, F2 is carrier, F1 is obviously recenter on hero, 3 and 4 for creeps, and then 1 through 6 are inventory items, and then key W, E, R. So it's, like, control groups, um, items, skills, like just line by line, right? That's that's why I'd rather go to QWR or whatever like four key setup. Because because yeah. your hands all over the keyboard if you're yeah. playing like I, I have like to go to like N H and J for like inventory. I use G and H. Like, wow. That's awful. Yeah, that is awful. Lee. 
Then we, uh, that's why I'm in 2K, man. Maybe I'll never <laughs> revive my keys. <laughs> okay, use my items. I don't know, man. Yep. Okay, so I think I got something about the game, but I couldn't hear it very well. So maybe well, Honey's still not will... back, but that's like a thing, right? Wait, wait, wait. I don't have... Bruno, cons okay. considering how this is going, we might need to order food. Because I feel like we're going to be... Oh, we're going to have to cold pizza. Uh, there's cold pizza in the fridge. Mm -hmm. I don't eat pizza. You just star. Nobody cares if you eat yeah, them. I mean, sorry. it's like tomato, tomato, right? Yeah. Right. Um, potatoes are okay? Yeah, of course. Of course. You can't eat potatoes. I know. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. That's like the worst thing you can eat. But yeah, um, we're going to wait for Honey a couple more minutes. And if he can't come back, unfortunately, we'll have to um, resume. Because we're way, way behind schedule. We have waited a long time, yes. Yeah, like it's... What time is it now? It's... We should be the second match, yeah. I think. So we went... Um, we started the show two hours and 20 ago. Wow. Two hours and 20 minutes. And we're not even full through one game. We're 30 uh, we're, minutes in. Are we going to make the last game play, like, that late? Because I don't care, like, I'll... We hope... I'm, I'm DTC. I'm down like fast. Two, there's but I'm just like... At this point, there are, like, really two alternatives. One is one game. One is we play the third game and right. reschedule the second game because the th third game is supposed to be starting at 9. Right. Ten Which minutes. is like in 10 minutes, so we could play that. Or we can push everything backwards and play the second game. The thing is... And then have the th third game playing. But Steam is so... Eh, right now. I don't know. Eh. The third game is going to be... Are we, are we in Steam right now? Check, check to see if you're like... Yeah, I think we're in Steam. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're in Steam. Okay. So... Um, I mean, we will have to wait and see. That's not up to us. It's up to the admins and everyone else. We don't call the shots here. But in the meantime, and that, like, being serious for half a second, uh, today's 25. Um, yeah. Today is 25. Um, initially, when we came into the... Um, we started with the Dream League, we were say that the Invoker set would be ready by the 25th and that everything else would be before that. Fire! Naturally, yeah, we ran into some uh, delays, uh, part of like, for the Invoker set in particular, um, we had the first version, we got a lot of feedback from the community, the things that they didn't like, particularly the face boots were too, um, they, they had face boots, like, um, boots that were kind of like face boots, They're kind of right. but they were like very big, yeah. so that was kind of really um, reworked. Also, um, someone had a great, someone on Reddit, I wish I could remember the name so I could quote him, but he will know who he is, and then I'll put him on Twitter. Uh, had this idea of having um, the bracers and the belt, three colors, quas, wax, sword, because he already has that in the in several other parts of the cape and the hat and everything. Right. So, yeah, there was a lot of rework. So the concept art was finished yesterday. So now Wait, it's time into the modeling. Hold on a second. And Fnatic playing in another game today. Yeah, Fnatic playing on the next game. Yeah. Which means that if Honey can't get Wait, it, then we... I, I see GG's to... being called. Yep. Yeah, I think they realize it's like, yeah, 4v5, there's no way we're going to be able to win. So, uh, anticlimactic to say the least, but I think it was a foregone conclusion anyway. Yeah, great camera work with us. Radiant what a spectator. Victory. What a spectator. So, clearly, a bummer that we had to end it that way. Yeah. Like, nobody wanted to see that, but I think Empire were still... Pretty ahead. If they, they if they're forced to play without their Luna, oh yeah, yeah, just well, No Tail is a bit of a beast to deal with Micro. Yeah, they say that. It's just 